yeah very good evening and uh, thank you thanks for the brief introduction first i'd like to thank uh, the principal and the correspondent of uh, sri kanyaga parameswari arts and science college for women chennai and my special thanks to uh, the iqsc coordinator and the college librarian or the events organizers dr uh, k molathi uh, thank you so much for the given opportunity to meet you all in this platform so let me share the screen okay hope you can see my screen and my volume also is audible i got exactly 45 minutes and uh, we have to uh, mention so many tools so let me go to the session directly that uh, topic is emerging free cms i mean uh, content management system and ai tools artificial intelligence tools for academics so before start my session i would like to uh, share about to acquire any new knowledge we don't need any special skill or a coach we need a habit of self learning so if you have a habit of self learning you can learn anything you don't need even any coach or you don't need any special technical skills nowadays the platform is open so there are so many youtube videos on the online platform that if you want any things to learn you can learn by yourself okay today we are going to see few tools like a content management system the one a google sites using google sites you can create a dynamic website and e profile and a blocker and flip html5 and mind mapping tool and infographics and the other tool is called linktree and weglet slides go so these are all the tools we are going to see in uh, cms content management system the main objective of this program is to use the open and the free platform for the content management systems and to create a dynamic website and e profile for promoting resources and services as well as yourself you can you have to promote yourself to create a digital repository for pdf to attract flipped book this is for the institutional repository mainly for the librarians to design graphic image using mind mapping tool and infographics okay the content management system is often called as a cms and it is a software or the tool that supports to create and manage the content on the web without having any technical knowledge that is a web designing skills you don't need to have any web designing skills you can simply use to create a website or any content management system tools freely available tools so first we have to know what is free and open source what is the difference between free and open source we all know that what is open source open source in the sense you can download the source code you can download you can install you can edit you can enable and you can disable some options you can modify anything you can do it by yourself the entire control will be with us but the free tools is entirely different the control with the, the providers and with the limited features yeah uh, same like a gmail you can use the gmail you can change some of the folders you can create but only the limited features you cannot modify anything you cannot delete anything other than your emails the same way there are so many free content management tools so this is the major difference for the open source and free source okay the first tool we are going to see is a google sites google sites can be used to design a website mainly for your organization or even for your own mainly it can be helpful for the faculty members you can design and you can have your own website using this website you can share all your content the course materials to the students easily so you don't need any technical skills these are all the drop down options there are ready made options are available only thing you have to know what are the options are available how it can be enabled that's it 
it is google site it is free and powerful easy platform only you need internet and a google account and a web browser we all have our mobile phone android and some of you have your own laptop so that doesn't matter and you don't need any html or the web designing skill also i'll tell you how you can use it only within four simple steps you have to follow creating your own website you have to visit the website called www.sites.google.com and log in with your own credential like you don't need to create a, a separate username password you can use your own gmail account the same username password you can create once you logged into the page you can simply customize and edit the content that you want and you can enable the drop and drag menus there are menus are available whatever the menus that you want you can just click and drag drop the place that you want and you can easily edit and update your content with the ready made templates there are many ready made templates if you wish you can use the ready made templates or you can create your own and simply you can share and collaborate for example if you don't know some of the modifications that you would like to share with your friend or it colleagues you can simply share this link and they can edit from their their end you don't need to use i mean give your username password to them just you can if you share to their email they can use their own email id and password they can edit your content so this is an added advantage and you can preview and you can publish very four simple steps you have to follow that's it the storage capacity per site only 10 sites per day and the store storage per site 100 mp and page limit unlimited maximum or more than 2000 pages you can create and the file attachment the maximum 50 mb but you all know that it is uh, since it is your google account google provides 15 gb google drive storage so that can be used for your overall performance so you don't need to worry about the storage capacity and 15 gb you you will be having the space so better what i recommend for this uh, google sites if you are going to use you can use your separate email id you can create one separate email and use it so that you will be having 15 gp entirely for only for the websites okay once you logged in this is the home page you will be landing into this so this is the blank if you don't want to use the templates these are all the templates if you want you can just click and you can modify or you can click the blank page you can create by your own so these are all the uh, websites that i have already created which will be showing only under your google account so i have created i mean in single account you can create n number of websites so there is a that is the beauty of this website and uh, if you don't want you can just delete okay after you landing if you want you can edit your, this is your page title for example if i am creating for my library i can enter my library name or if it is for my own i can enter my name so this is the way so i just uh, for the sample i just put tamilnadulibrarians.com this is the website page and here you can see all your uh, like uh, insert page and themes these are all the options and if you click page if you insert so many options will be there and themes once you double click on any page i mean any place on the page you will be uh, seen this circle box so the text at the uh, center if you click this you can enter the text if you click this you can insert the image from your local system so these are all the main options wherever you double click this options will be enabled and the second insert options there are so many options one by one this is like a location you can insert you can insert n number of images and uh, the like the image will be rotated automatically so that option is also available so these are all the options you are supposed to know and uh, these are all the text what exactly you want to add and edit photos um, you can insert images uh, youtube videos you can image add maps and n number of things you can do it in this simple options so i have used and created the website for my own library and this is the website link i'll even share the link to the 
WhatsApp also, I mean the uh, chat box also. You can click and see so that you, I mean, you feel that uh, effect. Where is chat? Yeah. So this is my library link. You can just click and see. So here I have shared my annual report and the enlist Dell net link and n number of data I have given here. And this is my own website for myself and whatever the material I have, study material I have ordered, the membership and awards, whatever I have received, I ordered, my experience, my publications, many things I have added. If you have a time, you can just visit later. You will come to know how it can be useful. And for, for the further reference, I have given some small links for the videos as well. You can click and see later on. I'll share this uh, PowerPoint presentations to uh, Malati ma'am and ma'am will share it to you. And these are all the other websites, platforms you can use for the website design and WordPress, Zoomla, Google Sites, Blocker and Canva. And then second tool, Block. Like a Blocker is a tool, Block is technical uh, term we can create a blog same also the same like a website and there is a difference between the website and the blog i'll tell you what is it exactly and the blocker is a product of google the same storage will be taken and uh, it has only seven steps easily you can do it and uh, the first steps once you signed into blocker website you can use your own uh, gmail username password and enter your name if you want to create a new block go to the options create new block on the left hand side top of the corner and enter your name of your block and click layout and all the gadgets create edit manage and delete a post and you can manage your comments so this is the major difference from the website and the block website you can only see the content you can read, you can watch, you can see anything, but you cannot give any comments to the people or the content. But the blog, user can see, they can also give a comments, whether your material is good or the video you which you posted is good or not. Like that, they can do it. They can give the comment. So that is the major difference. You can also disable the comment. If you disable some of the content, for those particular content, user can't give any feedbacks. Same like a website. But other content, if you enable the comment, they can give a comment. It is good, ma'am. It is good, sir. It is not good, sir. It is better like that. They can give a comment. So this is the uh, blog and I have my own blog. I'll just share just for an, uh, what, what is it called? This is the link to so chat box. I'll share later. You can see. Okay. So this is the block. It is very useful mainly for the faculty as well as for the librarians. Whatever the content you, that you want, you can simply share uh, through the blog or the blocker. You can share it to your user. It is very useful. So these are all the list of blocking sites, WordPress, constant contact website builder, Wix, Scatter, WordPress, Blocker. I'm sorry, I'm just going a little fast. There is no option. I, I mean, I got another half an hour time. So the third tool I would like to share is like a link tree. Yeah, link tree is a tool. You can share any number of website links in a particular link. For example, if I want to share my profile, I may have a profile in my uh, with one Google Scholar, LinkedIn Research Kit, SlideShare, and my YouTube channel, my library page, my own website, n number of things. I can put all together in one link. Then I can share a single link to the people. If they click single link, it all things will be dis I mean, displayed. So that is an advantage. And this is my own link. I'll just show you how it looks. Yeah, this is what. Let me close this. 
website yeah this is my uh link link tree profile see dr n sundar library in madurai and under this i can upload my photo i can enter small brief introduction about myself and uh, see the research profile this is the heading you cannot have a uh, link see here if i come down the click option will is enabled if i click this orchid link will go google scholar link my my own link with one portal research gate like that come down yeah on my personal web page it is another heading you can create a heading under this heading i can give the links my own page my personal uh, website and my library website my slides at my youtube and mathematics if i want to share anything to my uh, students i can share the links in this view this one link i can share yeah this is the only one link contains n number of links so like that it is very useful for the librarians uh, for example let me close this yeah this is i just created today for the demo purpose so if you want you can share uh, like uh, online database or any other tools like that see i just simply put wordpress the website itself taken the logo weglet in list anything so if you want you can add or you can system itself they'll take for example ai tools artificial intelligence tools this is what i'm going to share it today to you people and free cms tools for academics blocker wordpress weglet and online databases enlist delnet jitmind and whatever that you want you can just keep on adding n number of websites this is the another great platform librarian can be used a lot as well as for the faculty members okay let me go to the next slide after linkedin yeah this is the price and uh, i mean you can go for the simple free website if you want you can go for the pro version and there there is so many um, options are enabled you can use it it is very easy once you logged in this is your, you can use your own gmail account and you can log in and uh, this is the platform once you can modify here is the add a new link this is what by clicking explore explore link you'll be you can add the headings header and all likewise we can do it so this is what online databases i am adding the pencil wherever you find this column you can edit so that's it so this is the way you can create and another tool is called waglet waglet it is very useful platform whatever the links that you want to share same way you can upload image or document or any other links in a single way like a click uh, create a new collection same way you can use your google uh, account by login so this is my uh, library platform using this google i mean the waglet i have created an online course for example let me show you this how it looks i'll so that you feel it For example, how I am using for the new arrival purpose, I am using this waitlist. So this link also I am sharing. See, this is the new arrival for the waitlist. What I do, I just take a photographs and I send it to the user group. If you click this, wait, it is loading. if you click the image all the new arrivals will dis display this is another great platform still it is loading yeah see if you come down 
all the image, all the photos will display. I'm sorry, the internet is slow. That is why it is not uh, displaying. It takes time. See, if you come down, you can see this is the image. All the photos, whatever the new books I got it for my library, I uploaded. I click the photo and I upload it in the wakelet. Then I'll share it to the user. Yeah, it is loading now. So these are all the books I recently received for my library. So I take a photo. See with the logo and uh, uh, barcode, everything is there. It is my library book. I take a photo and I upload it in wakelet and I share in a single link. This is the only link I need to share it to the user group. So this also I will share it to you in the chat box. Yeah, this is called Wiglet. By using this, I can share n number of photos. There is no limitation on YouTube video. Many things I you can do it. And click here. Not only this collection I have. I have put so many collections in this platform. It has been loading. Yeah. See, under this, I have my publications. If you have 1000 publications also, you can put here. And UGC material and study material faculty, you can use a lot. And a librarian, you can use many things. You can upload even books, whatever the books you want to recommend. Many things you can do. You can just try once. You will be amazed. You will be amazed. I am damn sure you will be amazed. Okay, let me go to the next. Yeah. Okay, next one is Flip HTML. Now, this is another wonderful platform, I could say, because many libraries are uh, got stuck for the institutional repository. For mainly for the D space, if people want to use, they may not have the uh, IT facilities or they may not. Uh, uh, what is it called? Get support from their IT or even they don't know how to install DSpace or not. But this Flip HTML5 is very simple and powerful tool. Yeah, very simple and powerful tool. You can just note down. It, this also provides 20 GP free storage capacity. Per day, you can upload five documents and each document maximum 500 page limit to a particular document. For example, if you want to upload a book contains 2000 pages, what I can do? You have to split as a PDF in four different files, 500, 500, then you can upload it. So that is the way you can, because since it is free, it has some limitations. Yeah, I have, we have to agree. It has some limitations. Guys, college lamb are in the class. Learning, yeah. Anjari Mudimba, Anjari Mudjime. Barring la. Ah, or Anjari Dora. Thanks. I'm sorry. So, 500 page limit you can uh, per document. So, this is the page. This is my library digital repository. You know, I, I mean, uh, I couldn't install D space for my own library since even though I know very well. But I couldn't uh, install it because I don't have much facilities in my college. So there are so many things. So alternatively, I find this one and I'm using it a lot. And uh, I'm getting very appreciation from the people after seeing my institutional digital repository. Once you click this, uh, this is like a bookshelf, exactly bookshelf. Digi uh, digital bookshelf, we could say. If you click any book, it opens like a flipped documents, like the same way the how you open the book, the same way the page will be opened. Let me show you. Yeah. Hope you can see the screen. This is my, see on the top digital repository, Karmuth Tyagaraja Chetiyar Memorial Library. If I, if you click any documents, see, it opens. This is my college, uh, imprints newsletter see how it opens not only this yeah i have uploaded even for my library annual reports 
so this is my library annual reports 1920 see how it opens same like a book so students will feel like a book the faculty also can use it for your teaching method so students will enjoy instead of giving the same presentation type you can use in a different way yeah likewise okay let me go to the next tool so this is called flip HTMI tool for the alternatively you can use it for the digital institutional repository instead of D space I'm not saying D space is wrong but those who are facing trouble you can use some alternative platform that is called flip html5.com you can see it on the top so this is the link okay next tool mind mapping tool you all know that what is mind mapping but still it has so many tools which is simple is jit mind uh, i have i have tried so many tools but i feel jit mind is very simple but it has some uh, limitations but if it is i mean uh, per month you can create limited number of mind mapping if you want more you can use a different email then you can use the same way it is very easy for example this kind of image you can create likewise yeah jpeg you can download the image in a jpeg uh, png file svg text format html5 and it has 100 plus mind mapping templates for freely available so likewise you can use the images and uh, i created uh, so many images like this and i published a paper so this is one of my paper i created image and this is for my uh, open educational resources platform so likewise you can create a lot not only this way it has so many templates you'll be amazed and not only JITMIND, what I recommend is JITMIND, but there are so many. You can try anything that you wish to try, like XMIND, MindMub, FreeMind, Draw.io. So likewise, there are so many uh, platforms are available. You can use it. And the next one is Infographic. Infographic is nothing but information with the graphic design, like uh, uh, mainly for the poster design. Instead of designing a simple single page, you can uh, create a lengthy page that is called a poster. Like in the roadside, you will be seeing the uh, scan. What is it called? The big poster, right? Likewise, you can create. Uh, this also, there are so many uh, websites are available. Slidesco.com, Pictochart, Canva, Pengage. Still, there are many, but uh, I just mentioned only few tools. And the next tool is called slidescode.com. Yeah, slidescode.com is a free, mainly for the free PDF templates. Hope you uh, enjoy my PowerPoint presentation. This, uh, the entire presentation, I didn't create and I didn't design. I just downloaded from Slidesco and I just using it for my presentation purpose. I just modified wherever that I want and I am using directly from the Slidesco. Like uh, it is free templates are downloadable and visit http colon slidescode.com. This is the website link. You can download in a PPT or a Google Slides and you can modify simply. So downloadable PDF. This will be very useful for the faculty members mainly. So if you use these kind of PowerPoint presentations, your students will enjoy your sessions. So this is just for the demo purpose I have created. You can use this kind of images using slidesco.com. See, slidesco, it is free for 10 per month. Downloadable templates, 10 you can download per uh, month. If you want more uh, templates, you can use a different email. So alternative, you can find some alternative solutions. So likewise, there are so many tools are available. Not only slidesco, there are so many. I'll just show you later. And in between infographic, yeah, this is the way, like uh, poster, lengthy poster you can design, logo you can design. Once you logged into uh, Slidesco, this is the homepage, this is the template, whatever you want, you can create. And there are so many uh, websites are available, but I have pointed out to two or three just for a demo purpose. Slidesco.com, SlidesCarnival.com. 
free PowerPoint templates at design.com and n number of uh, availables. I recommend these three. So you can try all these three platform and uh, faculty members mainly you will be amazed using these uh, tools. And the research tool as a librarian, you are supposed to know with one IRINS and so to the, the plagiarism detector software for the institutional access. Okay, uh, this is not a final conclusion. I have to show you from AI, artificial intelligence tools also. But before I go for that session, there is no boundaries on open educational resources. The technology tools for teaching and learning is not limited. If you have a time, if you have a self-learning, you can learn and use n number of platforms. Okay, let me open the other platform. I got another 20 minutes time. So let me introduce some of the AI tools also. Artificial intelligence tools. Yes. Okay. What is artificial intelligence? By saying simple word, the human approach, systems that think like a human, systems that act like a human. Now, artificial intelligence getting very popular, even in academic, even in research particularly. So there are so many things you can use for the artificial intelligence, even for the academics. It's all free platforms. So I will uh, share two or three tools and I have got another uh, 10 to 20 minutes time. I'll just introduce few tools. So first tool is Elicit. Elicit, it has mainly for the research purpose. Elicit, it has hundred and 175 million papers are available already. You can discover any number of papers and you can ask questions. System will give you the answers. I'll just show you, you'll be amazed. And explain paper. Better way to read academic paper. For example, if any foreign papers, any foreign language papers, it is little, uh, what is it called? The language will be very uh, different way and uh, confusing uh, sentence they may use. If you can't easily understand, you can just highlight uh, things which you want. System will read and tell you in a simple English. I'll show you. And uh, science space and the next one is Dale.e, this four tool. Dale.e is like a creating images. The first one is Elicite Ask Questions. So this is the home page once you logged in or you can upload any paper. I'll just tell you the, show you the demonstration. For example, this is what Elicite.org. You can even use your Gmail account for login purpose. I'm using my Gmail. So mainly for the research, this will be very useful. See, Elicit will find answers from 175 million papers. Or you can upload your own paper also. Then you can select, system will give you the answers. For example, I'm just searching... information management. We'll see how it uh, work out. See, this is what mainly you can see. These are all the main questions you can ask. Like overall paper abstract summary, I think there is some problem with the platform. I got logged in, but still it is, it says something. See, I got logged in, it says Dr. Insundar. So we'll see what is it. So these are all the main questions you can ask for a particular paper. Overall abstract summary and interventions, outcome measured, number of participants for that particular paper, and so many questions you can ask by your own. For example, like, see, it has showing instead of Google, 
the system itself discover and tell you information management, brain, and DOI link, and which has a PDF, it will show on the filter option, you can do it. We'll see. So this is artificial intelligence tools for the research purpose. I'm sorry, internet is slow because I'm using my mobile internet. It takes time. Let me refresh the page. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it. So, DOI as well as which has the PDF, it, this will be dis displayed. For example, if I am taking this paper, information management and valuation, if it is useful for me, I am just selecting a paper. I am going to ask a questions to the systems. This is what I'm going to ask a questions. This is the paper. I'm going to ask the aim of the paper. Aim of the paper. If you ask a questions, even though if you ask a person, they will also take a time to read the entire paper. But the system reads in a fraction of the second and it will answer to you. So that is the beauty of uh, artificial intelligence. Yeah come down yeah it is i mean checking since the internet it is getting slow aim of the paper i'm asking the second question See, in abstract itself, it says the aim, you may think in that way. Okay, I am asking, oh, that is what it is showing error, but still we'll try. Uh, methodology. What method the particular paper used? We'll see. We'll see how the system answering to you. I'm sorry, the internet is getting slow. So I didn't get it fast. Even the system also seeing some error on the particular platform. Let's see. System will answer you. That is the beauty of this platform. You may note down, I'll come back later at the last uh, tool. It is called elicit.org. Okay, let me go to the next slide. I mean, next tool called explain paper. So explain paper is entirely different, highlighting the content or the text that you are confusing. System will give you the simple answers. You can upload a paper, then you can ask questions. For example, I'm going to upload my own paper. For that, you have to log in. I'm using my Gmail account. Yeah, now I got logged in. I'm going to upload a paper. See, for, for a demo purpose, I'm just uploading my own document. What is my paper? What I published? For example, yeah, this paper I'm uploading it. So system start analyzing a paper. Yeah, let us pray for the good internet connectivity. Yeah, it has got uploaded. Now, if I select any content, system will tell me the simple way. Still, it is loading. Yeah. For example, in introduction, 
I don't know this exactly what is it. What author says. But the system going to answer for me. Let me select only this particular. Yeah. Uh, let me take for another 10 more minutes. Don't worry, I'll just close by time. Still, it is loading. I mean, the internet connectivity is slow. I don't know what it is. Oh my God, the internet is getting dead slow. Please bear with me. Let me close this platform first. LSE.org. If you select any content, the system will answer you in a simple English. Okay. For example, this particular particular lines you select. I selected this. The system is going to answer. So it is getting loaded, but it takes little time. Oh, I'm sorry, that is dead slow, the internet. Let me stop and refresh the page. I uploaded a document. I'm going to highlight some of the paragraphs and system will explain to me. No, I just want to show it to you because uh, already the first tool also, yeah, it started, right? See, I got an answer from the systems. This particular paragraph I selected, the system says this paragraph talks about different tools that can help students to understand and remember the concepts better. One of these tools is assessment, which is also helpful for the teachers to announce a result quickly. Another tool, likewise, system answer. Okay, I'm going to ask further questions. What are the other tools? System will answer. Yeah, see? I got another. Other tools mentioned in the paper includes open source and paid version of the online educational tools, interactive tools, Likewise, system asking. This is called artificial intelligence. System will answer you. Instead of people, system will answer. So this is the easy way you can ask questions. You can read a paper. Okay. Let me go to the another tool. It's called dale.e. Same way you can get it logged in.
you can create an image. Dale dot e. Go to the platform. I'm going to search some of the images for uh, trial purpose. I'm just using like a drawn library or future library. Future drawn library. Or pencil drawing of future drawn library. Let's see what system says. And this is the link you can use it by your gmail account i got logged in this is called dale.e here i am going to try the image for the future library future library future drawn library i'll add pencil drawing so i'm not checking in a google the system draw for our system will draw the image. You can just type anything. Still, it has a limited future. Since it is introduction stage, they are giving a 50 credit. They are saying something. You can download 50 images in a month. See, this is the drawn future library. System created a image for us. Whatever the keyword you give, system will create image for you. So there is no copyright. You can simply select anything that you want. Even if you want, you can modify slightly. You can edit image or you can download image. I'm downloading an image. Yeah, I got downloaded. Hope you can see this. See the beauty of this website. It system creates image for us. For us. So whatever the keyword you give, system will create an image. Yeah, this is the image. You can use it for your own document or anything for your project, for anything you wish. So these two you can just try by your own. It is amazing site. It is very useful for you people. You can ask further questions like anything. So try, try by yourself at home. So we have seen four tools for the lsa.org, explainpaper.com, science space, and dale.e. So these are all the tools for the artificial intelligence help for the research purpose, for mainly for the academicians. So try by yourself. You'll be entirely amazed, I'm sure. Fine. Thank you so much. I have finished my session. If there is any questions, you can please uh, ask me. Thank you so much.